namaste, fill in a stretch, breathe in the palms above the head, interlacing the fingers together, heart chakras up, chin is lifted, coming on our tippy toes as we are in our standing extended mountain. Breathing our palms to the side as we exhale our palms forward in front of our chest. Breathing those palms up to that standing salute. Exhaling the arms back to the side as we hinge at the hips. Half forward fold. Folding down to a complete forward fold. Feel in a stretch. Placing the palms on the earth if that feels good. As we flow to our fingertips, half forward fold, gaze forward, straight back. Coming up to that half forward. Flow into our Tadasana, palms at our side. As we breathe our palms back above our head and that salute. Exhaling, standing prayer, relaxing the shoulders down. Hinging at the hips in our prayer hands, half forward fold. Flowing down to a complete forward fold. Palms touch the earth if that feels good. Walking our hands forward, feet to the back, down dog. Gazing at our feet, feeling that stretch. Walking our dog by pedal on our feet left and right if that feels good. Lifting that right leg up in the air, three-legged dog, gazing at the foot, feeling the stretch. Lowering that leg down, extending the opposite leg up in the air, three-legged dog, gazing at the foot, feeling the stretch. Coming back to complete, coming back to down dog. As we drop to our knees, coming into our tabletop pose. Dropping the body down to our cow pose, chin is up, tummies are sunken down to the earth. Flow into our cat, chin comes to clavicle, spinal cord flows up towards the heavens. As we do a couple of cat cows to our natural breath. Optioning to rotate the hips, relaxing and soothing that spinal cord, smoothing the buttocks at the hip muscles here, at the hip flexors. Or we can just option to do cat and cow, whatever feels best for you. A couple more breaths. Dropping our buttocks to the heels of our feet, flowing down to a child's pose or a puppy pose. Palms are extended in front of us. Maybe we can slackly rock from side to side in our hips. Just loosening up our hip flexors here. This is our morning flow. We are relaxing and soothing the body. Child's pose, puppy pose. Optioning to flow into prayer hands if that feels good. We spinal wave our bodies out of our cat or puppy pose. Fill in a spinal wave, relaxing and soothing, loosening up that spinal cord. Coming back to our hands and our knees, we are in table. As we drop down to cow, flow into cat. We're gonna breathe that right foot forward, coming into that runner's lunge. And we're gonna come deep in this runner's lunge, feeling that stretch, allowing that torso to melt forward. As we flow to our half split, breathing that buttock slightly towards the heel of the foot, extending that right leg. Flowing back to our runner's lunge. Feeling the stretch. Exhale back to that half split, feeling that stretch behind the legs and the hamstrings. Head melts down towards the knee. Coming up to our low lunge, gaze forward. As we breathe our right arm up in the air, revolved, low lunge twist, feeling this stretch and twist in the body. Exhaling back center, extended that opposite arm, low lunge twist. We can gaze up at those fingers or we can option to wrap that 
form around our backs, whatever feels best. Bringing the palms back down to the earth, extending that front leg, pyramid pose, feeling that stretch. We are lengthening here. Flowing back to that runner's lunge. Exhale, down dog. Gaze at the foot. Gaze at the feet. Walking our dog, dog pedaling our feet. Dropping down to our knees, coming back to table. Coming to our cow. Exhale into cat. We can option once again to do those spinal rotations at our hips. Just loosening up our spine. As we breathe that left leg towards the front, flowing into a runner's lunge opposite side, going nice and deep in that lunge pose here. Heart chakra's open, chin is up. As we flow to our reverse split, I'm sorry, half split. Feeling that stretch, head melts downward towards the knee. Flowing back to that runner's lunge, feeling that nice deep stretch Torsos pushed forward towards that thigh. Exhaling back to half split. Flow into runner's lunge. Taking that knee off the earth. We are now in that low lunge. As we breathe that left arm up in the air, we flow into that Revolve, low lunge, opposite side. Breathing back forward as we twist the body, low lunge, twist. Lifting that opposite arm up in the air. Gazing at the fingertips if that feels good. We can option to wrap that arm around our backs. Couple more breaths. Twisting that body back forward, low lunge, as we flow to our pyramid. Allowing that torso to relax over that thigh, knee melts down towards the knee. Flowing to our down dog. Pedal on our feet by walking our dog. Feeling that stretch here. As we breathe our right foot forward, then we're going to twist forward, coming into a wide-legged forward fold or a wide-legged ragdoll. In our ragdoll, we are hugging our elbows. As we flow up to our fingertips, we are kind of in a half forward fold. Backs are straight. As we come up to our Tadasana, palms are at our side, breathing our palms above our head and our star to our standing salute. Interlacing our palms together, lifting up that heart, that chin, allowing the arms to flow towards the back, feeling that slight back bend. Coming back center as we flow down to our goddess stance. Maybe we're in our goddess, I'm sorry, maybe we're in our cactus hands. Here in our goddess, God stance, we can option to rock that body from side to side. Awakening our leg muscles, building strength in the lower parts of our bodies. God is God stance. Bringing our palms up in our salute in our goddess stance, feeling that stretch. Exhaling down to our standing prayer, straightening those knees. Breathing our legs together. You'll be walking our feet together. Coming into our Tadasana. Palms are at our side. Breathing our palms above our heads in our standing salute. Interlacing our fingers, arms flows to the back. Coming back to our salute, straightening that back. As we breathe our palms down to our standing prayer, relaxing those shoulders down away from the ears. 
As we bend our knees, we're going to flow into a chair pose, either prayer hands or extended chair, meeting our arms are in front of us up in the air, or our prayer, whichever feels best for you. As we twist our body towards the right, chair pose twist. Coming back to center. Chair pose twist, opposite side. Exhale back to center. Come into that half forward fold, back to straight, gaze forward. Exhaling down to a complete forward fold, feeling that head melt downward towards the earth. This is a full body stretch. We can flow into a rag doll if that feels good. As we walk our hands forward, feet to the back, down dog. Gazing at the feet. Pedaling our dog by walking our feet. Lifting that right leg up in the air. Three-legged dog. Exhaling to down dog. Three-legged dog, opposite side. Exhale back down. Drop it to our knees, flowing into a puppy pose. Buttocks is high in the air, heart chakra is connected to the earth, allowing those shoulders to melt forward. That forehead, third eye chakra is also connected to the earth. Eyes are slightly gazed downward or closed if that feels good. Threading that needle, we're gonna breathe that right arm through that left, feeling that slight spinal twist. Exhaling back to center, threading that needle opposite side, left arm flows through the right. Relaxing and soothing his body. Feeling that spinal twist. Exhaling back to center, coming to tabletop. As we drop down to cow, chin is up. Flow into our cat. Coming to our table. Exhaling back to cow. Flow into our cat. Coming back to table. As we cross our feet at our ankles, we can find our bodies on our buttocks in a seated pose. Relaxing here in a seated pose. As we breathe our palms up in the air, coming into a salute. Interlacing the fingers. Pointing the finger points up towards the heavens. Allowing the arms to flow towards the back. Exhaling back to center. Coming into our seated extended mountain. Flowing into our seated star. Coming back to that extended mountain. Coming back to that seated salute. Exhaling those palms down that heart center. Seated prayer. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Maybe doing a couple of shoulder rolls, if that feels good. Bringing our palms back up to the side in that seated star. Twisting our bodies towards the right. Exhaling those palms down, coming into that seated twist. Relaxing and soothing that spinal cord. Gazing over that shoulder. Exhaling back to center, seated star, twisting the body to the opposite side, seated twist. Gazing over that shoulder, feeling that spine decompress, relax and soothe. Exhaling back to center, palms relaxed on the lips. Heart chakras open, chin is up. 
As we breathe our feet into a bound position, coming into a diamond or a butterfly pose. Slightly hinging at the hips, leaning the torso towards the earth. Head melts down. We can option to breathe our palms, our arms in front of us, going deeper in that pose. Nice, subtle breaths. Connecting our hands to our feet, if that feels good. As we slowly exhale back up to that diamond or that star. As we do a couple of cat cow poses here in our seated position to our natural breath. Crossing our feet, coming into our cow face legs. Connecting our hands to our feet. Heart chakra is open, chin is up, eyes are slightly gazed downward or closed. Breathing in. Exhale. Feeling the daylight on your face, feeling the sun on the body. As we breathe our palms up to our salute. Exhale down to prayer. Palms come heart center. Relax in the shoulders. Facial muscles are relaxed. Forehead is relaxed. Mind, body, and soul is relaxed. Namaste. Love and light. Thank you.